We are gonna do a mini meal prep for the week. I am gonna be cooking some chicken breast or chicken thighs and some ground beef because in order to find success, you need a plan. If you fail to plan, you plan to fail. That is key. Key to getting your nutrition on right is to plan what you're gonna eat. When I made this transformation with OMAD, I was very diligent with the foods I was eating. And I noticed like these are key things for success with me when I was like consistent. Right now I'm struggling because I got a lot going on in my life and it's okay to struggle. It is what it is as long as you pick yourself back up and move forward. So key to success for me was eating the very similar meals from week to week. I remember my go-to keto meals were sardines and water plus some pickles or sardines and like hot pepper or dark chocolate with almond butter like I would have those meals throughout the day and then like for dinner I would have like a solid like dinner so it would be things like pork ribs and like cauliflower rice and edamame um or anything like that with OMAD it was the same thing I would like snack stack with those like small 300 calorie snacks like I mentioned the sardines or it would be eggs and bacon I would have like two of those and then I would have a big 800 calorie meal moving me to 1200 calories in my OMAD meal. So I wanna do something consistent, similar to that, consistent, consistent, and very similar to that, but throughout the day or to mad style. So before I work out, I like to have a meal because it helped me to fuel my workouts. So I will have a meal first thing in the morning, and then after that I would work out literally fast all day. And then I would have my second meal, which is like a small appetizer and, a meal. So right now I'm pre preparing my pa 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 pa. <laughs> I'm preparing my meals. So I'm gonna cook some ground beef and I'm gonna cook some chicken and we are gonna get some peppers and vegetables in there so we're ready to go. This vegetable cutter is my lifesaver. The only thing I don't like about it is that it's not electric, but darling. We're gonna be grateful because I got this for $19 and there's a piece of sticker on it. So, this has been saving my life. Anything to make things easier with making yourself eat vegetables, you know? Speaking of which, I have tons of spinach to eat. So the key with vegetables is because vegetables are high in fiber. Vegetables are high in vitamins. I was gonna say vitamins. And fiber is very important in helping to stabilize your glucose levels, which is very important when it comes to losing weight. Not only that, it's very important for your mental health and for your overall health because alternating glucose spikes or glucose spikes when you have when you're not when your glucose curve isn't flat, it is going to stress out your mitochondria. And when your mitochondria is stressed, that's when you get things like chronic fatigue. That's when you get things like resistant weight loss. That's when you just get a whole metabolic mass. Like the best way to flatten that glucose curve is to go into a fast. Next best way is to do a low carb diet, low carb, low protein diet, which is, or moderate protein diet, which is keto. But even just going low carb is sufficient enough. Now, I'm not telling anyone how to lose weight. I'm just telling, sharing with you my journey and how a lot of people has found success with their weight loss journey. How a lot of people struggle with losing weight even though they're cutting their calories. It's because there is a whole metabolic storm going on. Shit storm going on. <laughs> make life easier for me a meat cutter that's something else I need to get to I hate cutting up vegetables and I hate cutting up chicken thighs ground beef or ground turkey simple steaks easiest thing to cook but it's these chickens <laughs> drumsticks are easy to cook but it's like the chicken thighs hmm pain in the butt but I love chicken thighs because they are more juicier than chicken breasts I can't stand chicken breasts unless I barbecue it and I am not gonna be barbecuing anytime soon in this weather so yeah unless I get a really good solid indoor grill trust me I will 
push out the money to buy appliances that will make my life easier. So, yes. Now, the meals that I have planned for this week, again, it's gonna be a snack, a couple snacks, probably in the morning, I'm most likely gonna have either my cheesy, creamy egg, or just eggs and like vegetables and um, maybe keto bread. Um, there's a few food staples that I need to have daily in order to meet um, a diverse sources of nutrients, macronutrients and micronutrients, specifically fats. So every day I need to be eating fatty fish, so salmon, I do have some canned salmon, I love having a salad. Every day I need to be eating nuts, cashew nuts, um, almonds, both nuts that have both sources of monounsaturated fats and polyunsaturated fats. I also need to be eating eggs daily too because eggs also help me hit my fat goals. Did I get everything right? So fish, eggs, and nuts. That's a very diverse keto diet. And of course, vegetables. Having vegetables with every meal, minus my cheesy egg, I probably won't have vegetables with that. But if I just do scrambled eggs, I usually have it with um, French green beans, which are my thing lately, or some spinach. And then during the day, I like to have salads. I love my taco salad, which is probably what I'm gonna be using the ground beef for most of the time. Now I smell a pot burning in the background, so we gotta get to cooking. Satisfying you while I keep bleeding I don't know why you act like you need no sense You wanna take a piece of my heart again I get it all, cause I just don't want you Something in your eyes, the way you stare me that I like I wanna let you go, but it's like something knows me tight so I bought these for a recipe. They're chopped basil, and I have not used them yet. I'm gonna toss this in with the chicken. It's gonna be so good. I realized I forgot to name one of my food staples. Avocado, I should be having that daily, if not every other day. Avocados, that's key, because avocados full of polyunsaturated fats. All right, so I ate about, I think a 1, thousand, 1100 calories for today. This isn't a what I eat in a day, it's more of a cooking vlog, but I'm gonna end the day off at um, seven o'clock p.m. And we just had daylight savings, as you can see here. Honestly, this daylight saving thing is a pain in the ass so we lost an hour of sleep i thought we were getting rid of it listen i'm here to support the farmers i love the farmers anyone who's in a primary resource um job so that's things like energy so that's oil gas um what else forestry um and of course farmers they're essential to the backbone of like life in our economy but do the farmers still need us to do daylight savings? Any farmers or anyone who comes from a farming background, let me know in the comments below. <laughs> I don't think they do because they have like technology now, right? Daylight savings is kicking my ass, but I am gonna make a keto cookie, as you can see here. That melted butter didn't work out so well with a coconut whey protein shake because my period's in a week and I just feel like having sweets, but keto style. Well, that was my little meal prep. I am gonna be making this a weekly thing because I think when it comes to transformation of your body, whether it be you building muscle, whether it be you losing weight, the most important thing is your nutrition and everything else around that complements the nutrition so when i say everything else your mental health being calm meditation working out exercise nutrition should be your number one focus so i really hope you enjoyed this video i just plated everything got the ground beef down the chicken down i think it's good to focus on having like bulk 
meats. So just cook a bunch of meat, have your vegetables prepped so you're most likely to consume them or purchase prepped vegetables, a little bit more expensive, but whatever you need to do to make you stick to your goals. If you made it this far into the video, just drop in the word meal. And I'm sending you guys mad love. Take care. Bye.